How's it going everyone? This is Dixon of the Ultimate Gamer I'm logging on. Today I'm going to discuss about how I discovered Alone in the Dark. The original one, of course. Well, that was my surprise. I was at Fred Meyer's about almost 30 years ago. They actually had a display uh, in the kiosk for 3DO. And I actually played the demo of Alone in the Dark. The first game, of course, because original, of course, originally it was first released on the PC, and which is the better version, of course. It's pretty cool how it got console version. That's when I learned about Alone in the Dark, and the game like this pretty much uh, got me to convince me to get Resident Evil when I got the PlayStation a few years later, because this is one of the pioneers of 3D polygon graphics. Even though pretty much everything improved in Resident Evil, but Luna Dark actually did brought something to the world of gaming. Of course, I was in, of course I was uh, into the 16-bit consoles and definitely couldn't afford a 3DO back then, and because they were pretty much a lot expensive, definitely overpriced. But at the same time, it was still an underrated system. And 16-bit uh, consoles were pretty much on top of the world, so. By the time when Mortal Kombat 2 came out for the consoles, that was actually in late 94. When I played Alone in the Dark, I was pretty much uh, convinced uh, on what the next generation gaming can do. I think this was trying to be the next generation, or at least, at least the beginning. The 3D polygon graphics in a, in a survival horror type of game. An Alone in the Dark name kind of caught my uh, attention. Of course, you play as t either one of the two protagonists, and I was playing Emily Hartwood, and I didn't have no clue uh, what I'm doing upstairs in the attic. That's where I start. And then this monster jumps through the window, and I didn't know what I was doing, so uh, all I was doing is getting attacked, so. And I was, I was pretty surprised. Even though the graphics is quite dated for today. You know the graphics are quite dated for today's standards. The music still holds up. And there's not really any point going back to the 3DO version. Since they actually have more of an up, kind of like an updated uh, DOS version for the DOS box. Which you can purchase the, that version along with the other two games on GOG or Steam. But it was something back then. Of course, what really brought me to mind to talk about Alone in the Dark is I actually played, uh, there's an upcoming remake, reboot of Alone in the Dark, and, I put, and there was a release of the prologue for the remake of Alone in the Dark, which the remake is coming out in, uh, in October of this year. Looking forward to it, because it looks like it's going to be a pretty faithful one. I mean, I, I actually did wish one day that the original version gets a good treatment, like a graphical overhaul and gameplay uh, improvement, but keep the original soundtrack, because the original soundtrack holds up the most. The story definitely holds up the most, too. Of course, it's one of these, of course, it's also one of the two, one of these games you get to play between the two protagonists, Emily Hartwood or Edward Carnaby. You know, the series, Elwood Carmi becomes the main face of the series. Just in this one, uh, between the two characters. I would like to get into, uh, doing a project on Alone in the Dark Games. Yeah, and then, uh, pretty much after, when the PlayStation came out, that was actually selling. I actually managed to get one from around my birthday. And I actually wanted to get Resident Evil. Because it looked like Alone in the Dark. Except it actually is even better than Alone in the Dark, though. It plays better. Of course, it's a different subject because Alone in the Dark games are kind of like a, a mystery HP Lovecrafting type survival horror. And Resident Evil is pretty much more like a zombie apocalypse cut type uh, survival horror. Well, not exactly zombies, but virus monsters as well. And you're actually. Not an old-fashioned detective, or a, you're just a, more of a star team member. However, 
I also discovered another Alone in the Dark game uh, that was in the PC magazine. It was Alone in the Dark 3, and man, the advertisement was pretty cool. I didn't know much about the second game. I discovered later that the 3DO also had the second game on there too. But once again, the best way of playing the first two games is on the PC. As well as the third game, because the third game, because the third game, because the third game didn't get a console release. However, on the PlayStation, they did get a Lone in the Dark game called When I Jack Revenge. But except that's an updated version of Alone in the Dark 2, it's not really much different, so that's nothing. Of course, there was Alone in the Dark, there was a fourth game in the series, which is actually pretty much has a different new gameplay style when versus the three of them, which the three of them all had all polygon graphics and slow movement. But the fourth one, The New Nightmare, takes a different scenery. That wasn't, and that one was, feels more like it's vibe of uh, Resident Evil and uh, Silent Hill. Even though the original Lone of the Dark pretty much uh, pioneered uh, the 3D tank controls for both Silent Hill and uh, Resident Evil. Well, anyway, it's kind of the story right now, though, of my, uh, Kind of my take on Re Alone in the Dark, how I discovered it. And how I remembered uh, getting into the series back then as much as I could. Nowadays, I can play the whole trilogy and the fourth game and the fifth game on uh, digital distributions. The fifth game, by the way, is supposedly be a remake or reboot, but actually looks more like a sequel or something. But that's a different story, though. But, but a real reboot is actually happening, so looking forward to getting trying that version out. Probably might pre order it. Probably might pre order it though. Anyway, that's pretty much all I gotta say. Thank you all very much for watching and listening. This is Dixon of the Ultimate Game Room logging off.